born in Salisbury, British in 1833, he was expected by many for his brilliant brain from an early age. He educated at King's College School and the University of Cambridge. Entering Peter House in 1852, he migrated to Trinity Hall the following year and became a fellow there in 1856, the year he graduated B.A. as Seventh Wrangler. In 1858, when he was 25, he was blinded in a shooting accident by his father. The father suffered greatly from the guilt of his son's blindness, due to his mistake. Seeing such a father, he tried to smile and said, Father, I lost both eyes, but my brain is still there, so it's okay. After that, he decided not to show his father any more despair. He deliberately acted cheerfully, always laughing and chatting loudly. Then a surprising change occurred to him. His inner self, which pretended to be happy on purpose, was actually filled with joy and his passion burned again. Despite his blindness, he continued with his studies, especially in economics. In 1863, finally he became professor of political economy at Cambridge, and he was elected member of parliament for Brighton in 1865. In 1880, he was appointed postmaster general by William Ewart Gladstone, and he was elected rector of Glasgow University in 1883. This story is about Henry Fawcett who was a British academic, statesman, and economist. We can learn from this story that it is wise to focus on what we have rather than dwell on what we have already lost.